वेलकम व्यूवर्स एंड डियर लर्नर्स टू माय चैनल लर्निंग इंग्लिश विथ अमोल दिस इज द सक्सेसिव वीडियो अबाउट द टॉपिक एक्टिव एंड पैसिव वॉइस इन द अर्लियर वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ वॉइस अबाउट कंटिन्यूस टेंस फॉर्म इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न how to convert an active sentence there into passive voice but of perfect tense i hope everybody has a very clear idea about the perfect tense here is an example i have prepared a delicious cake in this sentence if you see after subject there is have have as a representative of to have afterwards prepare which is an action verb which is in past participle form prepare prepared prepared so to have plus past participle of an action verb this is the structure of perfect tense later on as usually a question is asked what and its answer is a delicious cake so in this sentence we have subject then representative of to have afterwards past participle form of an action verb and an object so this is an ideal sentence for getting it converted into a passive structure so as we know that an object is placed in place of subject so a delicious cake is put in place of i afterwards keeping its a uh, tense form as well as objects singular or plural form in view out of have and has 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 been chosen later on be is converted into its past participle form been because we know that already in perfect tense our action verb remains in past participle form so while preparing the passive construction of the given sentence uh, when the sentence is in perfect tense we need to put one more past participle but of to be is be and be is past participle is been so that we can differentiate between an active sentence and passive sentence a delicious cake has been prepared by i is converted into me so this is how a sentence which is in perfect tense is converted into a passive construction another example is uh, of past perfect tense i had worn a red scarf subject i then had is a representative of to have for past then wear wore and worn the past participle form of to wear later on a red scarf which is the answer of question what asked to the action verb worn so it is an object i had worn a red scarf now this sentence is again uh, i mean uh, followed the same rules and uh, the answer or you may say the passive construction of the given sentence is a red scarf later on had to represent past perfect and then be is converted into been later on action verb as it is worn already in past participle form and finally subject i is converted into me and is attached by by a red scarf had been worn by me third sentence indian army had kept high alert guard on border again the sentence subject is indian army had the representative of to have for a past perfect then again action verb in its past participle form keep kept kept and later on the similar action of asking a question what and its answer is high alert guard and on border is a complement of this sentence high alert guard as an object is placed in place of indian army later on had 
again b is converted into bean and kept is kept as usually later on by and finally the subject of the sentence indian army this way this high alert guard had been kept by indian army is the passive construction of the given sentence dear students this is the methodology which we have been continuously applying a uh, few points which we already are familiar like identifying the subject action verb and an object it is a usual practice while preparing any sentence there into passive construction then identify the tense form which is very important once you identify the tense form then your possibility of an error is almost zero afterwards put an object in place of subject this is the first and the foremost rule later on put an auxiliary as per tense form as well as subjects number that is either singular or plural subjects number means the object which is placed in place of subject that is important may it be either singular or plural and in the context of perfect tense the auxiliaries are have has and had out of them you have to choose if it is present perfect then have or has and if it is past perfect then had and if it is future perfect then shall have or will have this is how you have to choose the auxiliary for your sentence later on very important uh, uh, rule is put been as a representative of perfect tense which is a very important thing and most of the students make an error of forgetting to put been there in the sentence uh let me clear uh, you that why been has been introduced there in perfect tense while preparing it in passive construction because an action verb is already in past participle form and while preparing it in passive construction we require an action verb in past participle form so the change uh, is not uh, possible to identify until we put been there in that's why been has been duly introduced while preparing the sentence in passive construction next and the uh, last few write past participle form that is v3 of the action verb which is already there and lastly put subject along with by at the end dear students here is the structure for passive construction of past perfect or present perfect or future perfect see object is placed in place of subject once it is done you have to choose to have form have has had shall have or will have out of which which is the right one that needs that need to be put afterwards b must be there in its past participle form that is been later on your action verb which is already in perfect tense form that should be kept as usually afterwards the remaining words some auxiliaries some complements which you need to put and finally your subject along with preposition by this is how you can convert an active sentence there into passive this is the structure that everybody needs to uh, notice it or note it let us see few examples here are some examples which are taken from your text of 12th standard my assailant have broken quite definite commands here i have duly underlined the part which highlights whether the sentence is in passive construction another example is i have missed him from my bus route next is he had treated the gentleman with elaborate politeness next is big data has inundated the education industry next is the sensors have helped us to understand next one is big data has provided a solution to one of the biggest pitfalls in the education industry these sentences are for your purpose so that you can make the practice of converting the perfect tense uh, sentences into passive construction
Now here are few more sentences. We shall have made a pact. He had offered silent prayer. Colonel Hunt has given me three flags. She will have painted a beautiful sketch. And last is farmers will have plowed farms before monsoon. These are the examples for your practice. I appeal you all to please try to solve these uh, sentences there into passive construction. Once you uh, get the right uh, idea about the concept, you can easily solve these sentences. I appeal you all to please solve so that you may get the confidence while converting the active sentences into passive one. Dear students, I hope you have understood this concept of converting an active sentence of the perf perfect tense into passive construction. In case you find it is thoroughly learned, please mark like, share it with your friends and relatives and don't forget to subscribe this channel Learning English with Amor. Thank you.